Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with me by hitting that subscription button where it says subscription, subscribe. It's free. Everything is free. Hit that bell notification for new uploads when I do the new uploads. And please give a thumbs up on the video. It's very important to have the, very, uh, the video circulate. That's how YouTube recognizes when the video is pretty good to launch it as much as they can. Thank you so much, everybody. So I just uploaded the kosher for coffee cups or glasses. Uh, I would use mostly like crystal glass on this because it's such a high-end bling bling, if you want to put it that way. Um, I have the table... Uh, runner table mat if you want to call it the centerpiece and the placemat or just doilies to decorate any area of your home or as beautiful gifts for Christmas and of course the little koshers um, so I made it special this time I put some um, ribbon on it which I bought at the dollar store if you want to put it that way but you can buy it at uh, Dollar Tree or whatever is near you, a uh, couple of cents, you get a nice little roll to decorate. And it's got, I know my camera doesn't do justice at all, but it's got a little bit of bling on there too. So it's got that shiny little look and it's more translucent, so it's lighter than the Royal Blue that I've used, which is this one. 100% uh, cotton four ply and this uh, big row is 80% uh, cotton 20% fibers also a four ply now with the silver it doesn't have a size it's smaller than the other ones by a bit but it makes no difference uh, I use a bigger hook to uh, get the same length as the other stitch uh, so we'll need that uh, of course the ribbon I also have a little bobby pin to get the ribbon go through the loops on the stitch hook number three or 3.4 and uh, 3.5 or 4 it's up to you whatever uh, type of yarn you're using and a hot glue gun just to um, glue the little edge on the ribbon and a little needle or hook for uh, tucking in loose ends and a pair of scissors i must have it somewhere here I don't, okay and of course, a pair of scissors. So this will be part two and the final part. I won't do the uh, big table uh, centerpiece because it's the same thing as the small one. The only difference is adding on the rows, which I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15 rows. So I went up to 15 rows and I did three rows of the royal blue. Okay. This one I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rows and only two rows of the royal blue. With the small one I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows and only one row with the royal blue which I'll leave the link for some of you that might just fall into the second part I'll leave the link to the first one in the description box my Instagram is also there you can follow me through Instagram through there just by clicking on the button uh, to the Instagram you can write uh, to me through message through there also and uh, we are going to get started very simple very economic and very fast to create with the centerpiece, you can make even a tablecloth. It would look gorgeous, stunning. And of course, you can use whatever colors you'd like. Okay, so um, as you can see, I did four, um, a set of four. So you can do as many as you like. This is uh, for a gift for my beautiful sister-in-law. She's having her birthday uh, next week, I believe, or the week after. And this is going to be a nice set for her, already for her birthday and for Christmas. So happy birthday, Dee. Much love to you. I hope you're going to love this. I know this is your absolute favorite color. So I hope you're going to like this set. Thank you, everybody. Let's get started. 
I also want to mention that um, if you find the video is too fast for you, just right up top on the right hand corner, there's three little buttons. You can click there and slow down the video to your liking. Right next to it, there's the CC, which is a closed caption. The letters will appear down here as I'm talking. You can take notes, pause the video, take notes, and follow through there. Now, um, of course, when I upload, the CC doesn't appear right away because YouTube needs to uh, recognize the language and, of course, um, you know, program the letters to show up as I'm speaking. So I can take a few minutes, but don't worry, the CC will appear on there because I had a comment on the other video that the CC wasn't working, but it takes a few minutes before it's recognized by YouTube, okay? So we're going to get started, people. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do your magic circle. So you would turn um, once, just like that. It's so easy. Some people still having a very hard time with it when it's very, very simple. So get your, your thread into position or your yarn, whatever you're using, and do chain three. Inside of this magic circle, we're going to do 11 more double crochets because chain three is equal to a double crochet. So we're going to have a total of 12 double crochets inside of this magic circle. And then we're going to close it in on a third space with a slip stitch on each at the end. So if I can take out a bit of the coloring on here because it whitens out too much. Okay, so we're going to go into the uh, last uh, chain here with a slip stitch. Now I call it the walk. I'm going to walk over to the next double crochet with a single and two chains. That would equal a double crochet. On the same space we're going to do another double crochet. So this row is two double crochets per space until the end. So you're going to have a total of 24 double crochets. This is row two. So very simple, two double crochets per space. I'll meet you at the end. Remember that when you are doing the last one, the one that we skipped with the chain, we must come and do two inside of there also. The reason why I go over one space because I don't want a huge mark of uh, chain stitch going up. That's why I alternate and go and not leave that space there open. So I'm going to go over again. Okay, so we just closed with the slip stitch. I'm going to go walk into the next one, do a single and two chains. Okay, on the same space, double crochet. Now this time we're going to have one double crochet alone next space two together next space one along next space two double crochets together on the same space this is row three so i'll meet you at the end okay so we're going into row four one two three I've closed it with a slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk to the next space with a single and two double crochets. Okay. Um, I just want to show you from now on how we're going to do it. So we are in row four, one, two, three, and four. So we're going to have, we're going to create, start creating groups of um, four double crochet with one chain separation between them okay so very very simple so we're going to do one double crochet next space one double crochet and on the last space here we're going to do two together one chain separation next space one double crochet, next space, one double crochet, and next space, two together. So we're creating groups of four double crochet. Let me just lower my light here. This is crazy. One chain, 
next space one double crochet next space one double crochet and next space double crochet and on the same space another one together so we're creating two alone with two together one chain separation but we have no we're not skipping anything underneath so one chain directly into the next space one double crochet two double crochet and on the third one we're adding one more on the same space so we're going to be doing it this way until row 11. We're always going to do a chain. And we're always going to do an increase at the end of the last double crochet. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end. I do adjust my collar here. Okay, so we're going up chain two for some, chain three for others, depending upon your stitch. For people that have a very tight stitch, do chain three. And for people that have very loose stitch, do chain two. Okay, so um, one double crochet for each. Third double crochet. Now remember, on the last one, like I mentioned, we're going to do two together, so we are increasing one chain separation and into the next one double crochet next space double crochet that's two third space double crochet that's three and on the fourth one we're adding one more on the same space so that's five so we're going to continue to proceed this way keep adding always one on the end until the 11th row Okay, there's no point in me recording until the 11th row when it's proceeded constantly the same way. So you know you're going to close in with slip stitch, chain 2 or chain 3, and then 1 per space. And on the last one, we're going to add 2 together. So instead of 5 double crochet, the next row is 6 double crochet, the next row is 7 double crochet, the next row 8 double crochet, until we meet on the 11th row. Okay, so I'll meet you at row 11. I'm just going to reconfirm it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, which is the one that I have the ribbon on. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of row 11. You can cut your thread. I'm going into the silver right after that. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much did my 11th row. Okay, I've cut my thread, I've tucked in everything. I'm going to come on any where we have the squares here with a half double crochet. Try to, to hide my thread here at the same time. I'm going to do that twice. We're going to do two half double crochets in the space here of the square where we have one chain. Next space. Half. And half. So this whole row all the way around will be half double crochet. The only thing is when we come to the space of the squares, we do two inside, so very simple, nothing to it. One half double crochet per space. Coming into the center space here, two half double crochets on the same space. It's going to be like that until the end. Okay, everyone, so what I did was I left, I didn't cut my thread. I left it on there on my last slip stitch. So I don't have to keep cutting, but if you want to cut it, you can cut it. And then you're just going to have to keep going as we go with the rows. So on the same place that I uh, did the slip stitch in, I'm doing a single. Now I have to move this so you're gonna have a hard time to see the stitch oops let's not pull on this one 
and try to hide my thread here at the same time. Now I know it's easier to cut and to restart, but I'm just going to do it this way. So single, two chains. Inside of the same space here, I'm going to do seven double crochets. So we're creating the seashell. So two, four, five. I got to make sure that I'm not grabbing these. Okay. So I have two, four, six, one more, seven. And I'm going to skip one, two on the third space, single. I'm going to skip again, one, two on the third space, seven seashells. So this row will be very simple like that. We're just skipping two space and creating it on the third space. So we have two, four, five, six, and seven double crochet. Again, skip one, two on the third space, single, and again, one, two on the third space, seven double crochet. So very simple people, nothing to it. We're going to do this all the way around. I'm going to continue mine and then I'll meet you back at the end again. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much finished. Did my slip stitch and if you remember, I left my silver behind it. Right, so now I'm going to leave the blue, and you, if you want, you can cut yours off and then come back when we do the next row. I'm going to leave mine. I'm just going to pull onto my silver here. Okay, and I'm going to come inside where I have the single over here without pulling my blue, of course. Let's hope I don't pull it. I'm going to do a single and two chain. I'm going to come back and do another double crochet. I'm going to do one chain and two more double crochet on the same space. Like that. I think I'd best put the black one here so you can see. Now, I'm going to put my blue back there. I'm going to do chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. For some of you that your stitch is too wide or too large, do six instead. Go with the flow. Okay, I'm going to come back into the single again and do the four double crochets two one chain and two more on the same space of the single okay so this row is going to be like this all the way around one two three four five six and seven of course, I'm sure if this uh, thread of the silver was thicker, I'd probably do only six. But because it's a thin one, I will be doing the seven chain. Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way around until the end. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished all the silver. I did cut the thread this time because it gets a little bit more complicated as the rows go up. So I'm just going to pull my blue one in the center of the, the uh, four double crochets. And I'm going to do one, two, three chain. Coming back in, I'm creating again my seven double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, 
six and seven. So I did my seven. Now I'm going to count one, two, three. On the fourth double crochet, I'm closing it in with a single. Again, oops, let's do one chain. Sorry about that, people. One chain, sorry. And closing it in. One chain coming back into the center of the four double crochets here and creating the seven double crochets again. So very simple. So we have our seven, one chain, and I'm coming one, two, three. If your uh, stitch is too loose, then don't do any chains, okay? These are uh, mostly for the people that have very uh, tight stitch, like myself. Now, if you find that it's too loose for some of you, then if you don't have to do that one chain, then you go directly into the center here. Of course, my hands are, are getting slippery when they get tired. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you'd count again, one, two, three, on the fourth space. Okay, and then that's it. You continue from there, and then you can cut your thread at the end, because the last row is half double crochets and picot in the center. and seven. Count one, two, three on the fourth double crochet. And this is how it looks. So this is the last one of the blue. If you want to continue up, then you just can continue to repeat the same thing as we've been doing. So I'll meet you at the end of my blue. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished my blue. Coming back into my silver slip stitch knot and I'm going to do on the back loop only grabbing back loops starting already from uh, the first one here whoops okay back loop only and doing half Trying to hide my thread at the same time. This thread is a little bit tricky because it's almost like a satin. And then again, coming into the back loop, single, a uh, half a double crochet, sorry. It always looks like single, but it's not half. So I did one, two, three on the fourth one, on the fourth double crochet. I'm going to do a, sing, a half double crochet and one, two, three chain. I'm going to do the peacock. So I'm coming back in here, closing it with a single. And again, half double crochet, one, two, three, and on this one too, which is right before the single, and four. On top of the single, I'm doing a single, and then going back to do half double crochet. Right after, one, two, three, and on the fourth one, half double crochet, and one, two, three chain, 
and doing the peacock, closing it in with a single, and then continue on the same way. So very simple, nothing to it. I will have everything on display at the end. So this pretty much does it for this tutorial. And like I said, if you want to do the the centerpiece, oops, the single here is with a single. Uh, if you want to do the table centerpiece, then you just add more rows here as you go to the length that you would like. So please, if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Uh, thank you very much to every single one of you. Uh, Nancy McDonald, thank you so much for your comment and your support. And okay, so pretty much done with all of the edging. Now, if you want to put the ribbon on, I had already shown on the kosher, but you put a bobby pen right at the edge. Very simple, nothing to it. And you'd come and come under like, anyway, you can grab anyone for that matter, but I'm gonna start here. And you need to have it all fixed all, oops, on the same, pull too much through it. Make sure that when you're going through that you have it faced properly the same way or you're going to be all twisted. So I'm going to uh, skip two space and come into the next one. So, so simple people, nothing um, to it at all. So like I said, make sure that you have it um, properly before you close in on anything. Oops, and I just pulled it right through it. Let me just fix this here. Okay, so again, skip two double crochets or as many spaces as you would like your ribbon to appear. So if you want more ribbon to show up, then you can skip three spaces instead of two. I'm going to do only two, but, you know, choice is up to you. And always make sure that you line it up properly before you have it all twisted. So skip two. And don't pull too much on it or else it's going to come out on this side. Okay, so not hard at all. Very simple to do. And on this one here, so I've skipped those uh, the two here. So as you can see, I have one, two. So I'm just doing the same thing when it comes to the uh, corners here. Actually, no, I skipped one and went into the next one. Skip two, get this right, and into the next one. Now, when you come to the edge, um, the ending here, you're just pretty much going to, once you get here, okay, let's say. You're coming to the end here, so you're going to have them um, just show you here quick because it's going to take too much uh, memory on my cell phone to be doing all of this. So let's say you're at the end over here, all right? Let's say this is your ribbon. Well, then you just uh, overlay, and I've pulled too much already anyway. You can pull it through the back too, like that. And you just overlay and hot gun glue it at the little edge here. Put on top firmly, you know, nothing that is properly. Hot gun glue over it and that's it and you're pretty much done. Okay, so I thank you so much everybody. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention, I must have it somewhere. So. If you want to uh, make the little extra, so I made this little bow tie out of it and I put a little uh, 
little sequence uh, bling bling on it. So if you want to put it anywhere, uh, just to give it that little extra touch, you can put this little ribbon like that, a little bow tie, or here, anywhere you want it. That's if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, you could also hot gun glue it um, anywhere. Just a little drop doesn't need that much. And you have a beautiful little bow tie with a little bling bling on it. So I think that makes it very pretty sophisticated. Uh, choice is up to you. I will decide to see if I'm going to put it. I mean, it looks so pretty no matter where you put it, you see. Okay. So this does it for this tutorial, everyone. It's very simple. Just continue on now with your ribbon and uh, just put a little bit of glue at the edge. And we're pretty much done. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time. And um, please uh, give a thumbs up and please share and let me know what you think about this new creation with the uh, with the ribbon. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.